everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Unsub by Meg Gardner. Um, so I was in a, I was in a discussion with somebody and they told me that I needed to check out her the book Into the Black Nowhere. Um, and I got into a thread with that and I was talking to people and they said I definitely, definitely need to pick up this one and read this one first. Um, uh, then other people said you don't really have to, so I don't know where, until I read Into the Black Nowhere, um, I don't know, I can't give any points on whether or not that's true or not. Um, but one thing is, somebody told me that this was about the Zodiac Killer. It is not about the Zodiac Killer. So I went in with uh, expectations that either it was about the Zodiac Killer or that the twist, unfortunately, would be that it was the Zodiac Killer that was actually doing the kill killing, but that wasn't the case at all. So if you hear anything about the Zodiac is mentioned in this one, but this has nothing to do with the Zodiac Killer. Um, this one, The killer in this one, and I don't read blurbs or synopsises, so, you know, don't, you, it tells you back here that the, the book is about a killer named The Prophet. Um, one of the things right up front, if you are not even like classically trained or if you took AP English or any of that stuff, you are probably going to understand very early on what's going on in this book and where the killer is getting his motivations and his inspiration. Um, there's really no secret there. Um, I was also expecting some kind of twists and turns and I didn't get any. Um, and that's unfortunate, but I do believe that it's because I have the the history, and I don't want to say the education. I'm not trying to say I'm smarter than anybody, but it's because I, I've been a lifelong reader, and I've come across the books and the, the materials that the killer uses as in for inspiration in here. So it was, wasn't any big shock when it came across. Also, I thought there were far too many... Uh, far too many things, parallels to the movie Seven, um, and that kind of disrupted my enjoyment. Um, there's also quite a bit of predictability just in the text alone, um, as far as what's going to happen next. You know there's going to be a red herring, you know that, that you know certain things are going to happen. Um, if you're a thriller fan, if you're a lifelong thriller fan, a new thriller fan, there, this book does absolutely nothing new. With that being said, I did like the characters. Um, Caitlin Hendricks is is serviceable as a main character. Um, her boyfriend, uh, screw buddy, whatever you want to call him, Sean, is fine. Um, but no characters really stood out as someone that I would read an entire series around. Um, the only reason I'm going to be reading the next one is because people have told me that it's better than this one. So maybe this is, uh, but Meg Gardner's not a new author. She's got over 10 books to her name from what I see back here. In fact, her first, maybe her first novel, China Lake or whatever, won the Edgar, yeah, China Lake won the Edgar Award. So maybe that's better. I'm not sure. Um, I did like it, and I was able to finish it, and it is a super short book. You can see how big the, the typeset is, and it's 400 pages, but each and every page, it's almost like reading a James Patterson book as some of the chapters are super short and the text is really really big um i don't actually i guess it's ease of reading i'm not sure um and another thing i'm not sure of i'm just not sure about this book how i feel about it i'm kind of stuck on three stars because i enjoyed it enough to read it but i also want to give it two stars because it was only just okay so i'm gonna leave it open when i finally actually write my uh goodreads review i will make a decision then but right now, I'm kind of wishy-washy on it. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, let me know down there in the comments below. Let me know if you haven't read it, if you're looking forward to it. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.